Now let's talk about club path. Now I know for me as a coach, this is one of the parameters that most amateurs want to try and fix when they come in. It's, it's something that probably most of you out there have tried to study on a video on your phone. Uh, our popular terms we use for it is outside in or inside out or over the top. Uh, but let's first define how does Foresight Sports actually measure club path. And of course, as we go on through all these, we also need to know what point on the club it's measured from, what moment in time it's measured at, what units it's measured in. So for club path, it is measured from this center point between the heel toe fiducials. It is measured at the point of touch and it's measured in degrees, degrees in relation to the target line. So if you're a right-handed golfer, and you see a measurement of five degrees out to in, that means at that point of touch, the club head was traveling five degrees to the left of the target line. Now, of course, if we saw five degrees to the inside out, that means that at that point of touch, the center point of the club face between the heel toe fiducials is traveling five degrees to the right of the target line. Now that we understand what club path is and how it's measured, let's talk about the effect it has on our ball flight. Club path works together with face angle to determine our predominant shot shape. So what I mean by that is a player that has an inside out club path more often than not will consistently work the ball from right to left. And even in high handicappers, we see that the club path is very stable. There's not a lot of variation from one swing to the next. But that's not to say that our club path isn't headed in a direction that we don't want. So let me see if I can give you two ideas on simple ways that you can shift your club path. The first one is alignment. And I often find that a player's club path strongly correlates with where their shoulder line is at address. So if you have a little bit of an outside in swing, the first simple thing I would have you try would be to have your shoulders more closed at setup. Now you can do that the way I just did, where I kept my feet in the same position and I just turn my shoulders. Or, if it's more comfortable, you can just shift everything so it's aligned more to the right. The second thing that I'd have you try to shift club path is going to be altering our side bend at impact. So when we see players that swing from the inside out, we often see that they have a significant amount of right side bend for a right-handed golfer. You can imagine if I'm coming down with this angle of my spine approaching impact, how difficult it's going to be for me to actually swing inside out. Now conversely, if your swing goes too far inside out and you find you hook the ball, I would want you to try and have your spine a little bit more vertical at impact to try and neutralize that club path. Be sure to use the software in order to tag how each of those drills will affect your club path individually, and that way you can find what works best for you.